We came to the YMCA in search of a way for Alex to meet some other kids who are just like himself. I thought it was important for him to develop relationships with peers. When Gigi was younger, there were lots of programs and lots of therapies and things and activities that she could join in. And as they get older, she just entered high school. There's less and less. So it's very difficult to find a fun program where they can get together like real teens and young adults. Pam has done just a fabulous job um, bringing the kids together and making sure that they want to come back. Um, and he looks forward to it very much so every week. I really want to have a different environment, one that's more social, recreational, so that eventually, when they get older, they have a friendship base. It's a wonderful program because it's, it's Brian feels that it's his program and that it's his friends and it's his community and his place. The social group drives me. I, I'm passionate about the part in which I am seeing young adults with special needs making friendships. The four hours that he's gone um, gives my husband and I a chance to um, you know, go out and do something. We've been out to dinner, to a movie. And... There's so much more that our kids, young adults, our people with special needs are missing. Isaac has pretty severe disabilities, so it was hard to find places for him to go to explore his interests. Staying in good shape and exercise has always been very important for our whole family. And Riley's the youngest of four, and so we, when he was younger, this was easier because he just ran and swam and did things like that. But He'd been working with a trainer at one of the big gyms around here, but they didn't really know what they were doing, how to work with somebody with physical and intellectual disabilities, whereas the trainer here seems to know exactly what to do. <laughs> what this program offers is two components. Of course, the fitness component, because every time a child comes in here, or an individual that comes in here, I want them to get a good workout. But also, another component that I really teach in this program is a social component. Like, every time an individual comes in here and is about to work out with me, they are required to say hi to the people at the front desk, say hi to other people, because I really want them to practice communication skills and life skills that they can take outside here. He has more energy, he lost the weight, he's better fit to participate in the, the sports at school, um, and I know he feels better about himself too. Um, he's always shown us his muscles. What's really neat is that there, you know, there is not another place exactly like this in our community and there's such a huge need for it. So the Y's been a lifesaver for us. You know, I can't tell you how much we appreciate uh, Mark and the Y and it really has changed my son's life and it's, it's changed ours as well. For more information about participating in or supporting special needs programming, please contact the Birmingham Family YMCA 248-644-9036 or go to ymcadetroit.org slash Birmingham.